Get strong. Howdy, everyone. Welcome back. This is Jim. And this is Jim Keto. Taking a quick second to go back over our current status. We are above the moon. Still don't have that worked out. Apparently, my ship, my fighter ship, is firing upon the big ship. It's firing into the back of it. I have got to figure out what's going on with that. That is getting to be more than just a little embarrassing. What? Okay. Here, we'll come down here. There we go. So we're heading over to this ice asteroid. We're just a little ways off from it. We should be there soon. Now, oh, I messed that up, haven't I? So, I need to turn off the dampeners. There we go. So that's left bumper button and Y turns off the dampeners. Now, normally I group my thrusters so I don't have to actually mess with the dampeners much. And that makes it a lot easier to deal with. But turning off the dampeners works too. And by that standard, I can go ahead and just turn off the engines, and that reduces the overall usage of hydrogen as well. And that works. Now, there is one other piece that I want to put in to use, and that is I want to... In fact, I'm going to go ahead and turn off, turn the dampeners back on. We're going to go back down to nothing. We're going to slow down entirely. There we go. Okay. So we're going to turn them back off so we're not using up unnecessary energy or resources there. And. Let's see. Let's pop out of here. I think I have... Yes. Okay, so I have the projector turned on from here. 
Do I have the welders turned on here? Welders are on. Okay, so I need to turn the welders off. So what I want to do is I captured this ship's blueprint earlier. And what I want to do is I want to install because this is actually this actually has the wrong here let's find the projector so this actually has the wrong blueprint loaded And here's all those components that I had taken off. I had covered it in an earlier video. So this is the wrong blueprint. I'm going to go and load up the correct blueprint there. Now I'm going to click on A. All right. That finally took. Multiple grids. Only the largest grids will be used. Already we can see there's a misalignment. And that is because it looks like... All right, let's take a look again. So what we're going to do, ah, so everything was based on the previous alignment. Let's see if we can get this. So this isn't good. It's showing a build progress of 560 to 8,417. Uh, 8, now let's take a look and see why we are so Oh uh, yeah, that's the other problem is our orientation is based on setting where it says only build so this should show us what our orientation is now let's see what happens when we move this What are we seeing here? Okay, we are seeing... This is just entirely in the wrong spot. Okay. There we go. Now we can see what happened. That is entirely the wrong orientation. Looks like we need to flip down and completely reorient ourselves. Okay. Right, so let's see what happens when we do. Okay, so that that actually looks like it's fine. There. 
So we need to pitch. No. We need yaw. Actually, going in the wrong direction. Okay. And then we need to roll. Do we? this back like this. There we go. seeing. Looks like we're flipped upside down again. Okay, but we're almost there. Still feels like we are upside down. There we go. Almost there. close. see what's happening here. Okay, so we're back too far. We need to go down and forward. Okay, there's the problem. Take care of the horizontal offset.
off. Okay. So center line seems to be a fine. Almost there. Stay on target. Look at that. We definitely seem to have a problem. out of bounds missing one armor block okay I'm not 100% sure why we're seeing that as an issue but what we can do now is turn the welders on. Now, let's see what it says. I'm not 100% sure what the armor block that's missing is. Oh, you know what? I bet you it's that one. Because I added these guys later. I had added that one. I added two ore detectors. That's what that is. So I added that one. And I add him one here in the back of the ship, right there. Not a big deal. It's just a design piece I need to add to that blueprint. So I hope you found that useful. We basically took the blueprints that we generated, the video last or the one before that. That's been uploaded to mod.io, and now we've got it actually loaded into our projector. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate it. And remember, stay safe out there.